Hello, and today we are going to have a look uh, at uh, how surface area can affect the rate of diffusion. That's our experiment. So uh, first, let's start off with having a look at what is diffusion. So diffusion is the movement of particles from a high concentration to a low concentration uh, down a concentration gradient. Uh, the reasons we need this or why we need this in our body is because our cells need to get stuff in and out. Okay. Uh, so we're looking specifically at the effect of surface area, meaning the surface area of a cell. An example is a root cell, so a root cell in plants, that has a large surface area, a special shape, long shape, so it can absorb lots and lots of water. Okay. Um, so we're going to change the surface area in this experiment uh, by, use, by using different shapes, and we're going to measure the rate of diffusion. So firstly, I'll explain what method we're going to use. We're going to use the special stuff called agar jelly. And the agar jelly has been dyed blue. You can see that it's blue. It's also alkali, or it's got a pH of, of over 7, so pH of 8, 9. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to cut these into shapes. So the shape dimensions are going to be 1 by 1 by 1 for the cube. And then this uh, long, thin one is 0.5 by 0.5 by 4 centimeters. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these shapes and put them into some vinegar. So uh, vinegar has got an acidic pH and we're going to put 50 centimeters cubed of vinegar in our beaker. Okay, so 50 centimeters cubed of 9.5% vinegar in this beaker here. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get our shapes and put them in here and you're probably still thinking what am I measuring well I'm going to measure the time it takes for these to change color because when I put this thing uh, the agar in the vinegar it will start to change color from blue to yellow um, now what we're going to do we're still still thinking about what we're going to measure we're going to measure the time it takes for the whole thing to change color okay so I'm going to put them in and start my timer Okay, so you can already see that it's starting to change from a blue to a yellow. So I'm going to wait to see how long it takes for the whole shape to change uh, to yellow altogether, completely yellow. So I'm going to wait there. Uh, meanwhile, I'll explain what's happening here and why we have a change in color. Is like I said before, the, the agar has got a pH, an alkali pH in it. The vinegar has got an acidic pH. So as the vinegar diffuses into the agar, the pH changes. And the reason we can see that pH change is because there is an indicator in there. So the indicator will change color when the pH decreases as the vinegar diffuses into the agar.